down the road looking for an antelope. Seen a bunch this morning, Friday, scouting. We'll see what the day holds for us. standing. Not a huge buck, but a buck. His ears are even. Have you got him? Yeah. But he'd be, he'd put you in the Oregon book. man could take a shot from here or not. I didn't bring my range finder, but... He's looking at the truck. Another rig coming by. Yeah. I wonder... Scouting drew to a close. We got ready for the next day's hunt and started to prepare. Hopes were high. center of the screen. They're laying down. They're at about 600 yards right now. I'm trying to crawl just a little closer to get a better look and maybe make a shot. We'll see what happens. Well, I just shot a good buck. He's a lot. Um, I don't know what I was trying to say. He's right up here. <laughs> oh, fuck. about 330 yards, 340. Um, this is a little bouncy. I'm going to uh, turn you off and I'll sign you back up here in a minute. Okay, I'm not sure. I think he's right up here. Let's see. This looks about like where he fell. Holy, that's a dandy. I don't know if he's the big boy me and Carl saw before, but that's a pretty good head. Pretty good head. Decent mass, some stickers. Nice mature buck. I don't know if he's going to make my magic 74 that I wanted, but he'll be close. Good buck. Good buck. So here's the skinny. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson. I'll never shoot. I'll never shoot Carl's gun again without earplugs in. Anyway, we had seen a really nice buck here scouting a few weeks ago. Um, in the middle of blue sage, nobody would ever believe it. Um, so 
we decided to put a play on this buck. And I don't know if this is him. I actually don't think it's the same one we saw. But he's still a very respectable buck. But we did some looking on um, Google Maps and stuff, and you can see the lake bed right back there. This is actually a water hole. And so I came in at daylight and tried to get behind it. Over here on these other hills, those little shallow ones right back there behind me, you can see the rims right back there. Um, I noticed some antelope just after, just before the sun rose. I sat down, beeped them, thousand yards, two bucks, both smaller than this one. And um, hope my glasses did okay. Anyway, so I was making a play on him, trying to close it up to about 500, and I was going to try to shoot the biggest one. He wasn't near this big. And uh, I was almost to that magic $500 mark or 500 yard mark. And I heard something and I looked up to my left and there's a grassy approach coming into this water hole and here came this buck. So I spun around, got set up. He beeped him, he's about 3.30. Um, I'd already adjusted my scope so it was on at about 300 so I was comfortable with that. And I just, because my <laughs> tripod legs were so short, I had to keep stepping back, or you know, <laughs> waiting for him to step into a window. And he finally did, and I could see the top half of his body. Aimed a little high, touched it off. I actually hit him, it looks like, right where I aimed. Um, he bounced around a little on the ground, got up, walked a few yards, and then tipped over. So, anyway, this is me. Where is he? There's my buck. Let's go try to get a... A twofer. That's Randy's 2017 antelope buck. Hopefully this is enough to get me in the Oregon big game book. We'll see. Signing off. There'll be a few more pictures to come. Thanks, man.